what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we're gonna dive into some more monster if you have not seen my last reaction of 37 and 38 make sure you go back and check that out at least i don't know what's going to happen in these next two episodes i don't know hopefully nina is okay and you know hopefully i'm hoping that she was trying to save shu walt in some sort of weird way oh she wasn't trying to to like just kill herself with him or <laughs> hopefully i don't think it's anything like that i think she was trying to save shu walt you know you on the covers whatever um you know i don't know i don't know i don't want to assume anything because this series you know what i'm saying you might have you know you might want to um imagine certain things or to make predictions or whatever and it all will turn to not you know what i'm saying as i said i don't think you know i don't think they did you know what i'm saying i think she did that in some way to save shu walt or something of the sort i'm just gonna assume that i don't know okay i i i mean i don't think nina is not the suicide type you know i think she did that to 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 kind of but the thing about it is this like what is going to happen now going forward is he he's definitely not going to be around shoe wall anymore right so i'm definitely i don't know i i don't know all i know is i'm happy that tenma now has found this trigger finger you know what i'm saying at least we got that down you know what i'm saying is the assassin dead maybe i'm not sure i need to see a body you know what i'm saying he might turn up later um but i'm hoping that he is dead it's one of the characters i think he's one of the only characters that i want to see dead right now like i don't think i want johan dead as much as i wanted him dead you know what i'm saying um don't get me wrong as i said before you know i'm saying in my last review that johan is a type is a type of char character he's a villain that you you don't want to love but you love him you know what i'm saying you love him because not because of his murderous side of him but his swag that he that he has about him is just like this man looks nothing like a murderer he, he he thinks like one he does the things that murderers do but he just doesn't come off as one he just has this calmness about him it's just like my guy i am that nigga what are you doing <laughs> you know what i'm saying he is the kind of guy that will cut your throat and you don't even know it you'll probably thank him <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you know what i mean but it is what it is I, um you know it's, and i'm just speaking the truth of how i feel about his character man and i don't have no 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 fascination for serial killers or anything like that it's just you do not you usually you know what i'm saying when you meet serial killers after the fact you see them do interviews and stuff like that in real life there's a certain there's a certain um aura about serial killers that's usually there you know what i'm saying but with johan man johan is just he's a straight shooter he reminds me of the american gangster um you know just chill but you know he'll shoot you shoot you in the head you know what i'm saying you know you just know you know what i mean but anyways let's jump into the episodes i will see you guys for the review after uh let's get back into it pour out some more wine here Five dead, 34 injured. もう、もう、何が何だかわからないうちに火の海で煙に巻かれて息ができなくなったとか。もうおしまいかと。助けてくれた人がいるんです。銃で血をつらいを打って、ドアを開けてくれたんです。あの人は暴気ですか。銃で
ている暴化と断定し一刻も早い犯人の割り出しに全力を挙げていると発表しています。You know Lungi is gonna blame Tenma for this, right? You know he's gonna be like, he, he gonna be like, Tenma set the fire, bruh. It's crazy. All them books. やけ残った銃ですから指紋は出るかどうか銃の種類は間違いなくドクターテンマと思われる日本人が購入したモーデル SR93なんですがねしかしこう焼けてしまっては犯人の痕跡を見つけ出すのも難しいですね痕跡の
I love how they tie that the two scenes together. あなたの姿がなくってどうなるかと思ったでもあの火災の中からその怪我でよく一人で出てこられたね消防の人もびっくりしてた助けてもらったから助けてもらったあなた最後にあの中から出てきたのよ日本人えどこかの病院に日本人
ここは一つ腰を据えてじっくり戦おう。真実はいつか証明される。大丈夫だ。私たちがついてる。疲れてるだろう。しばらくうちでゆっくりするといい。あの時いたんです。えあの時、あの人は確かにあの図書館にいたんです。天馬は確かにいたんです。Nutty, bro. Manika Tabenaka. Arigato, Tita. Hawa, Kaisa Jeme. Don't so hum to go to cheese or Hatanda. Oh, that go to cheese. Itadakimas. Why, she? Honto? おいしいもの食べると元気になる天馬もいつもそう言ってたあいたいね天馬にあいたいねうんそろそろいい季節になりますねそうだ体が良くなったら旅行でもどうですかアジアの方なんかどうです気分転換になると思いますよこれからはもう少しゆったりとしてください父さんもう十分戦ってきましたよ That man alive? <laughs> なんですか。何が言いたいんですか。三匹だ。カエル。Three frogs。カエル。Bridge。目。彼の目の中に地獄があった。生きている人間の目の中に地獄があった。カエル。はい。ある男に伝えてほしいことは。はい、ドレスデンだ。ある男が待っている。ドレスデン、何を伝えればいいんですか。<笑>はい。そ、その男にドレスデンに手伝えればいいんですね。That's what the message is。今すぐですか。わかりました。すぐに行ってきます。It's with the one tear on a cheek, like. <laughs> What is it about these three frogs? Yeah, there are no damn frogs in 
I'm a little hungry too. 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 ヨハンが秘書を務めていたシューバルと彼が何か情報を持っていると思うがシューバルとはまだ面会謝絶息子のカールはそれが2日前からどこかに出かけていて連絡が取れません定かではないが目撃証言の中には東洋人が人命救助をしたという証言もあるだがもし現場で発見されたと言われる狙撃銃に天馬の指紋でもついていたらどんな証言も何の役にも立たないいつまで待てばいいんですか時間がないんです真実が明らかになって警察が動き出す時その時はもう天馬はもういいなあごごめんなさいいいな君の気持ちはよくわかる私もこの事件でリヒャルトという大切な友人を失った彼には明るい未来があっただがヨハンは彼のその未来を断ち切った私は引き下がらん絶対に yeah, we all feel some so, sort of way about this entire thing dude now you made me want to eat sausage okay pause <laughs> What do you got? <laughs> ah, man, I want to be in the know. <laughs> I'm tired of being in the dark in the show. I need some info, man. Come on. Oh, damn. Dito wants to go with her? ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
チェドクバシ、サンビキノカエル、そして、父はこう言ってました。君の追っている怪物が、もしも双子なら、双子の母親は、フラハで生きている。Oh, is it basically telling him where Johan would go? Or maybe he's keeping tabs on him? I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just out here trying to figure out. <laughs> trying to get as much information as I can to figure things out. Look like they have something different in the. It's crazy. Let's get to the next one. ただ。旧東ドイツの孤児院で児童の虐待があったことだけは確かなんですしかしそれを立証する資料はなかなか発見できないんですよねそうでしょうな旧東ドイツの孤児院は通常厚生省の管轄だったんですがね問題なのは彼らの親が刑事犯罪者や反政府主義者スパイ不法出国者や越境失敗者の場合ですその子供たちを収容した施設の中に悪名高い内務省管轄のキンダーハイムがあったということです。その特別孤児院の中でどれほどの虐待や非人道的な人格矯正が行われていたのか。それをできうる限り詳細に調べたいんです。あの中で一体何が行われていたかを徹底的にね。徹底的にななるほどそれは大変な調査だ関係者のほとんどは亡命するか口を閉ざしているんでしょうそうなんですよこちらの養護教員のシュヌーアさんもねシュヌーア先生彼は旧東ドイツの62キンダーハイムの教員だったんです取材を申し込みましたが断られてしまいました気をつけた方がいいシュヌーア先生は旧東ドイツ時代児童を虐待していた可能性がある。ふーんあ,あ、この資料をコピー取らせていただいてよろしいですか。あ、えー、どうぞ。グリマンさん、あなたもちろん旧西側出身のジャーナリストですかね。ええ、私はこっち側、ライプチヒの新聞の記者でした。ええ、あなたみたいな人権犯が東側にいたとはね。いや。<笑>あの頃は海外特派員として世界中を飛び回ってましたからねセースから与えられた任務でねわかるでしょスパイですよあよいしょっと偉い荷物ですな旧東側のあちこちで集めた資料がぎっしりでして
いい記事期待してますよでこれからどちらへチェコのプラハですご協力ありがとうございました委員長さっきは随分とこっぴどくやられてたな結局普通取られちまったのかもうなくなって<笑>人間靴なんかなくたって生きていけるもともと裸足で生まれてきたんだからただ人の靴を取っていじめるようなやつは最低だ<笑>そんな最低な連中のせいで泣くことは、right. じゃあな That's the truth Okay I like this guy Mr. Grimmer Anyways Give you guys a little bit of tidbit about me Um So in Jamaica we normally don't really wear shoes outside it's we have to be going somewhere like as kids when we were playing and this is not i'm not saying this because i say you know back in my day you know what i'm saying we never used to wear it. nah it was just it's a part of the culture even to this day you know kids don't go outside even though it's it don't get me wrong it's very it, you know it's dangerous you know what i'm saying you could get you know stick in the foot You know what I'm saying? You could step on a centipede. You it, Things could happen. You walking around barefooted and stuff like that. But we just do it even now to this day. You know what I'm saying? I'll be God side. Maybe I need to, you know, go put out the, 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 the garbage for it to be picked up um, and stuff like that. And I just go outside. My, you know, my girl, she don't like it, but it's just in me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I say, I just go outside and come back. It's just that... When I come back, she's like, wipe your feet off. <laughs> she doesn't like it. So um, sometimes I'll go out with the shoes on. But for the most part, if I'm just going outside, you know, maybe to this, like, you know, my mom might come visit. She don't want to come inside or whatever. I'll go outside and barefooted out and put on shoes on or whatever. Um, so I just wanted to say that because I, I don't think, um, I mean, I wouldn't do this. Like, I wouldn't, like, go like down down the block barefooted like i wouldn't do that you know what i'm saying um because as i said it, it's dangerous you know what i'm saying but i don't I, i think if you did that people would probably in america probably would believe that you're homeless immediately <laughs> you know what i'm saying you're immediately judged as homeless if you leave the distance of your home barefooted in america okay immediately Ah, gave him one back. Oh, k i s u n g i t e k a i t e m e w a k u k a a n o j u t o s i m a s e n h a y o r o s h i d e s k a h d o c h i m a s h t a j i t u a s o n o ちょっと困ったことにパスポートの入ったバッグを盗まれてしまいましてパスポートそりゃ困りましたねはあそうなんですウィーンの妹に会いに行くところだったんです昨日妹が倒れたって連絡を受けまして、yeah. いや、sure. 早く行ってあげなきゃいけませんね<笑>早速警察に届けた方がそれはもう済ませましたから。Yeah, right. This man is a scam artist. Get away from him. なんてことだ。実は取られたバッグに。Yeah, of course your wallet was in the bag. <laughs> Can smell that scam from a mile away. It's just way too convenient, bro. いくら必要ですか。おや、そんな別に大きいお金は必要ないんです。とりあえず病院に運んで見てもらうだけのお金さえあればこれぐらいしか出せませんけど
That guy is standing there like you know he lying, right? <laughs> that was obvious lie, dude. Come on, bro. <laughs> he probably knew. I refuse to believe he didn't catch on to that. Tenma. <laughs> why didn't he just turn the back sideways? Like, why? Is, uh, <laughs> this dumb shit. Like, when I see stuff like this in anime, I'm just like, and the thing about it is, the thing about it, this is not an anime thing. It, you see this kind of stuff in real life with people doing this style of stuff, and you're like, why don't you just? Turn the bag sideways. It's obviously it's not gonna go in and the other way. Just turn it this way. Jeez. All he has to do is just take come go back out, take the bag off, and turn it the other way. Never been on a bullet train. I want to try that one day. もう何年前になるかな。1982年だから、あ、そうそう。秋葉原に行きましたよ。東京<笑><笑> <laughs> oh damn you just gonna bust that out just <出国審査です>。パスポートを拝見します。This man just said Dr. Shane. Elbegawa. Otoshino Makno Chokawa, Dokana. Amari Yokunaine. So Boka, Gunen, Kurigurano, Tsurimashtao. Otoshua Murida, Dr. Shane. That guy should know who Tenma is. <laughs> oh. Alright, know his name too. Tenma. I mean, he used to be a spy. Just a dumb spy. <laughs> I can't, can't, can't. I think he did that junk on purpose, bruh. Oh. Oh. 
<笑>君、ここを通りたいんだがな。ああ、すみません。荷物が大きくて引っかかっちゃって、いつもタッチも行かなくて、まったく何やってるんだ。ああ、そんなに乱暴にしないでください。一体何が入ってるんだ。大事
そして私はこれからまたもう一人打たなければならない私はもう医者じゃない Tell you, man, this, this so it's such a well written show. You can't, you can't have no fault with the dialogue, like, it's it, it just feels natural. あの子は釣りの楽しみも知らずに死んでしまったあの時もしあなたのような医者が近くにいたらあの子の命は助かっていや本当こんな大きいマスが釣れるんですよ The big ass trout That's all I'm saying <laughs> I mean, trouts do get get up there, though. あの山を越えれば、チェコの国境です。そこを越えて林道に出たら車を拾えるかもしれない。私はここらで駅に引き返します。ありがとう。本当に助かりました。クリマさん。幸運を祈ります。ドクター天馬。いや、またどこかで会
Shu Wall know this information? I don't even know. I have a bit of a hic hiccup. Um, how does he know this information? I don't know. I don't want to speculate. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to speculate as to how he knows. He just knows. You know what I'm saying? Um, he had that information. I guess just in case he came across Tenma. I mean, the man is, you know, he's rich. He's got connections, you know. So, uh, with that last episode, we, we learned a lot. We learned a lot. We learned, we learned a little bit more. You know, Nina is still going to go after Tenma. It seems like she and Dieter is about to go look for Tenma. I don't know if they have any idea that Tenma is in Prague right now. But then they introduce this new character, Grimmer. That is trying to, like, he's trying to get the scoop. He's a journalist. So he's trying to get the scoop about Kinderheim 511. Um, so I don't know how that's going to work out. But hopefully he can get some information and kind of lay some insight. Some more insight into what we already know about Kinderheim 511. Because the world doesn't know. So maybe, you know, he's just trying to get the scoop so he can write a good story about it. That would be cool. But other than that. When it comes on to um, Tenma right now, Tenma is going out there to find something. Is he going to find it? I don't know if he's going to find her. Maybe he's going to find her. She already dead. Because you know how Johan works. He knows things before people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't want to say he knows before them, but he gathers information very fast. It's going to be fascinating if Tenma actually gets to have a conversation with his moms. Because it's like, what happened? How did you lose your son? Did he just get up and walk out the crib one day and end up in Kinderheim 511? Or did the, were the Germans just snatching kids from their moms? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And in any case, man, it was it, it was really... I'm glad that Nina survived. Glad that Shu off. Um, that man is terrified just to hear um johan's name you know what i'm saying like it, it's just crazy to me this series i mean 40 episodes in and if you ask me what's the end game of this show i wouldn't be able to tell you i can't tell you because at the end johan might be the last man standing to be honest, at this point in the series, I don't think Tenma got it in him to ever pull the trigger on Johan. I think maybe what's going to happen at the end of this, I don't know. I'm expecting a big twist at the end of this at the end of this series at about something. I don't know what it is, but I just feel that anxiety of just trying to figure out what's going on in this series and the puzzles the mind games that they that they play about certain things and how they reveal things in storyline the, the way how they reveal things in this story is not the traditional way of revealing things this is not like attack on titan where it's like a omg moment it's more of like oh oh oh, oh that happened ah you know what i'm saying it's kind of like it's kind of like that. It's like, you know, Attack on Titan has those really flashy OMG moments. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes some things about the story and the history, you know, will surprise you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it will surprise you because it's like, this whole time I thought this was happening, but it's really this. So it's kind of similar in that way, but at the same time, it's like, the way how they do it in this anime is just to the point where you really just have to like, are you really seriously revealing this right now? But you're still not telling me enough. And that's why I'm like such in a state of anxiety where I'm just like, please give me more. I need more info so that my brain can be settled when I'm watching this show because... When I'm watching this show, I'm looking for every any little clue that they could give me to give me some sort of hint of what's to come. Of what, who is Johanna? What is about? Why does he do the things he do? Because I'm trying to understand him. 
out of all the characters in the series he's the mystery he's the he's the most um he's the biggest puzzle to figure out in in the series and it's just to the point where i'm just like i give up you know what i'm saying like i don't want to give up but i give up just just tell me <laughs> you know what i'm saying don't let me try to figure out anymore just tell me who he is you know you know what i'm saying like it's like i can feel it it's like something right there in front of me and i'm trying to grab it but i can't grab it because it makes no sense and i feel like it's just whatever i grab is just gonna make me more confused that's how i feel so it's like i feel feel like you know what i'm saying at the end of this series once i finish watching it it's probably going to be my top five i don't know yet because i don't i don't know yet i don't know what they're gonna do in the next 30 something episodes so i'm not putting it in a, in a goat conversation you know what i'm saying i'm just saying it might just be in there it might take over a spot in the top five for me mainly because of what it did to me during this watch 40 episodes in and i can tell you i'm i really really want to know now it's been a long time since i felt like this about anything that i watch is like give me the end now <laughs> you know what i'm saying um i feel that same way about attack on titan um right now because it's like as i tell as i've said on my attack on titan videos it's like i really feel the supreme urge right now to go read the manga because i want to know what is going on especially with the last episode that aired nutty you know what i'm saying the reveals so it's the same situation here um you know what i'm saying it's just the storytelling in this series is so brilliant you just want to get everything now you know what i'm saying like i would have been finished watching monster if i wasn't reacting to it to be honest i would have been finished watching it because the urge is there and because of you know us you know because of me watching the reactions not the reaction me watching the show you know what i'm saying me watching it it just present that much more anxiety because i have to wait i have to wait i have no choice but to wait unless i'm gonna binge watch it and binge record but i can't do that because i'm doing you know this that and the third on the channel right now when it comes down to what i watch so i can't just binge watch it i could do you know what i'm saying a 5 10 episode marathon and try to but i do not want to rush through this series either so that's one of the things too i don't want to rush through it because usually back in the past when i was doing like um just two shows you know what i'm saying at a time like two shows at a time um i was able to do like super reactions and do like five episodes sometimes even then i think my record for one sitting session for episodes was like 10 or 11 episodes like the 11 episodes of, of anime i think i did that for i don't remember i think i did that for i think it was like my hero at academia if i'm not mistaken i've done a lot of a lot of really big super reactions where i did like you know what i'm saying eight nine episodes i think my hero academia i think i did one session i think i did like 11 episodes if i'm not mistaken that's my record but in any case you know what i'm saying as i said i can't do that for any series that i'm watching right now because i i'm doing so many different series right now so um as i said man thank you guys so much for tuning in i appreciate y'all as always for coming and support these videos i know you guys are enjoying this on early reaction right now and you're just you know what i'm saying you guys are not going to get to see this until wednesday but once you see this don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Of course, I need to need you guys to let me know who's watching it with me, who has watched the series before. That's what I want to see in the comment section this time around. Um, those of you who are watching it with me, are you as excited as I am? Are you feeling that kind of anxiety as I am? All right, let me know. See you guys next time.